This may surprise you, but there is a monster that has appeared more times dead in the Monster Hunter franchise than it has alive. Some of you older players are more curious, newer players may already know what that monster is that I'm going to say, but for those of you who do not, that monster is Bonobolos. While its appearances have been present in a very obvious way, it is quite easy to underlook its appearances, and that is due to the fact that it appears as a skull on the back of another monster, Dino Hermitor, and this is included in the games where Monoblos is not present. The last time we saw this monster in its flesh was in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which was definitely one of my favourite game rosters in the series, and prior to this it was in Monster Hunter Freedom 2, as well as the following expansion title for Freedom 2, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Monoblos are large wyverns that bear a strong resemblance to Diablos, but unlike Diablos, a Monoblos has a single horn opposed to two. They have a variety of spikes along their rock hard carapace, small yellow eyes with a vertically slit pupil, with a tail club that is more like a mace in comparison to the tail of a Diablos. Assuming Freedom 2 and Freedom Unite are considered a single entry into the Monster Hunter franchise, this monster has only shown up in two Monster Hunter mainline games and was even excluded from the generation games with additional appearances as merely a skull anchored to the back of Daimo Hermitor. As to why they left this monster behind for so long, the reason is still unknown as to why exactly, but we have seen it recently return and make an appearance in the spin-off title Monster Hunter Stories 2, which was pretty cool to see. It's safe to say that the mainline Monster Hunter developers prefer Diablos over Monoblos, given the rate at which Diablos is being brought back in comparison to the latter. Personally, I think Monoblos is a monster that should definitely be overhauled and brought back, similar to how we've seen the devs do for the crab monsters in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I would love to see Monoblos return with a brand new moveset and just a much more deadlier variant, and of course they could stay with the tradition of keeping it as a solo hunt only, and that way it keeps with the tradition while also bringing back a monster that many players probably have never heard of. I'm pretty sure there are a ton of players that have started playing after World and Rise, meaning they never got the chance to face off against this beast, let alone know about it unless they either revisited past games or played Monster Hunter Stories 2. On top of a new overhauled moveset, they could even go as far as keeping this monster as a solo hunt only, making it a unique experience, especially for the newer players in the series who have never experienced a monster that was exclusively for solo hunts only. Let me know down below guys if you remember this monster and if you've ever faced off against one in the mainline series, or even if you've only ever seen it in Stories 2, and I look forward to reading all of your comments. As always, a like would be extremely appreciated on the video. If you did enjoy it, it's extremely appreciated. It helps out the channel a ton. And don't forget to join our Discord. Link is at the top of the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.